Are you suffering with knee pain and you're looking for a brace that can help to reduce your symptoms? If you are, then this video has a great suggestion for you. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today we're going to be talking about a fantastic option for knee braces, who they're suitable for, when you should use them, and then we'll have a look at the Neo G knee brace as well. So I'm often asked in my job in the clinic, oh, I've got this knee pain, is it a good idea for me to get a knee brace to walk around in? And my answer invariably is it depends. For some people, a knee brace can be very useful, whereas others, a knee brace might be a bad idea. So in terms of what kind of knee injuries could a knee brace be used for? Well, we're looking at things like knee arthritis or knee meniscus tears or ligament problems or problems with the kneecap as well. These tend to be cases where knee support might be a good idea. And basically a knee is a very complicated joint. It looks simple because it just moves forward and back, but you have a lot of moving parts with your knee. You've got the kneecap here, you've got the thigh bone, you've got the tibia here, which is your shin bone, and then you've got the fibula on the outside in terms of bones. You can see all around it, you've got these strong ligaments and you've got some ligaments inside as well. You've also got a couple of different types of cartilage inside the knee. You've got a meniscus and hyaline cartilage, which is a type of cartilage we think about when we talk uh, about arthritis. And all of these structures can go wrong. We can always have problems with these structures, particularly as we get over 50. Now, some of these problems, or some of the problems we can get with our knee can cause something that we call instability. Okay, and instability is basically the sensation that your knee might give out on you, okay? And your knee might cause you a problem or give way. You just stop trusting it. Now, that can be caused by lots of different injuries, but no matter the injury, if you feel your knee is always going to give way, a knee support can often be a very good idea because what the knee support can do is it can prevent the knee from giving way or at least help you feel like your knee is going to be shored up a little bit and then that can reduce the symptoms that are associated with it. Now the other reason that uh, knee supports can be good or the other circumstance in which they can be good is if you feel that there's instability between the left and the right of the knee. So if you feel like your knee is going to you know, collapse on the inside or the outside, or you feel there's too much give to your knee, again, a knee brace can be a good idea as well. But there's a caveat to all of this. And the caveat is that knee braces should always be a temporary fix. Knee braces should just be used until the giving way or the instability settles down and gets better. And usually the only way that that gets better long-term is through exercise, strengthening, and other things that we do here in the physiotherapy clinic. So if someone's unstable, we can give them a knee brace, but as soon as they take the brace off, the instability is gonna be just the same, or maybe a little bit worse, because they're not gonna be used to walking without the brace anymore. So if you're gonna use a brace, you must, must, must make sure you're always doing knee strengthening exercises at the same time to make sure that when you take that brace off, you're not in a worse position than before. But now that that's been said, let's have a look at what I believe to be one of the best knee supports on the market, one of the most affordable ones, and of the quality I've looked at, this is definitely one of the better ones that we have. We like it so much that we stock it here in the clinic. Now the, the brace we like the most is called the Neo G Stabilized Open Knee Support. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. And this knee support does a couple of different things. Okay, so here is the knee support when you get it out of the box. So first, the first thing to note is it's made up of this kind of cottony neoprene stuff here. So it's very, very flexible. And the thing I like about the flexibility of it is that it gives you nice support, but it doesn't restrict your knee so much that uh, your muscles stop working. So let's quickly open this up and have a look. So. One of the best things about this brace is it doesn't have just two straps, it has three straps, and they're very strong Velcro, so they absolutely won't give out on you. So when you lay the thing flat, this is how it looks. So you've got your three straps, 
and these wrap around the knee. I'll show you how to use them in a minute. Now, the other thing I like here is that we have this donut shaped hole in the middle of the knee support. And this is designed for the kneecap. So the kneecap is gonna sit within this hole and around it, you've got this silicon type fiber here, which helps to cushion the kneecap. So if you have an unstable kneecap or you feel like your kneecap might pop out sometimes, this could be a very good option for you. Now, the thing I like most about this is one of the things that is quite uncommon for these knee braces, and that's the fact that it has some degree of what we call lateral stabilization. Now, you can probably see these three lumps here, and these are not just the design of the brace. They actually serve a purpose. If we open up this Velcro here, we can see that inside we have three of these metal rods and these metal rods are flexible, but they're also strong enough to give you some stability on the inside and the outside of the knee. So again, this knee support is trying to give you the best of both worlds. It's trying to give you enough stability so that your knee doesn't give way whilst giving you enough protection or is trying to give you enough stability so that your knee doesn't give way whilst not giving you too much protection so that your muscles stop working, if I can get my words out. So that's what the knee brace looks like. I'm gonna show you now how to use the knee brace if you've got knee pain, and I'll show you how to put it on and what to expect from the knee brace itself. So here we have the Neo G Stabilized Open Knee Support. I'm going to show you how to put it on for maximum effectiveness. Okay, so what the first thing you need to notice is that the device should be open like this before you put it on. And what we're aiming for is for your kneecap to sit quite comfortably in the middle of this hole here. So I'm gonna put it on my right knee. So we'll pretend my right knee is the one with the problem. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to more or less fully straighten your knee. You must put the brace on with a straight knee. That's how it's going to work best. And I'm just gonna sit this loop, this little donut shaped ring over my kneecap like that. And I want my knee muscles to be as relaxed as possible. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do in terms of strapping it up is I'm gonna take this single strap which sits on its own and I'm gonna pull it tight and wrap it around the back of the knee. Then I'm gonna secure it on the side of the brace. Now, just before I move on, I'm gonna tell you, I've had some patients who have legs that are slightly too big to get that strap around. And you can still use this brace if your legs are too big to get that first strap on. What I would recommend you do is you, is you secure this first strap just round the back of the brace after you've done the top two, if that's the case. But if your legs are the same size as mine or smaller, you're gonna do that middle strap first. Now, after you've done that, I would next recommend doing the top strap. So you take the top strap tight and round, and it has a little sticker here just to provide some initial tension. So once you've put that sticker on, you're gonna take the second part of the strap and tighten it up again. And that was really firm around the front of my leg. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take the bottom strap and again, you're gonna secure that little stick around the bottom of your shin and then you're gonna bring the rest of the strap around and secure it, okay? Now the knee brace is on. And I'm gonna just test that it's not too tight by trying to bend my knee. And what I'm looking for is at least 90 degrees of bend here, okay? And then I'm gonna straighten it. And it should feel comfortable all the way throughout. Now what we're looking for is not too much tightness around the back. We don't want the fabric to be gathering up. And the other thing that I'm gonna to say to you now is that you can see I've got it here over my trousers. That's totally fine, by the way. You don't need to put it on your bare skin. It still works just as well around trousers, but you might prefer to just have it around your knee before you put your trousers on, if that's what you prefer. So that's how the knee brace looks. When you stand up, you should find that if you try to turn your knee from left to right, there isn't much give going left or right, and that's because of these stabilizing rods. So these really help to keep the knee 
in the correct position. So that's how it should look. I should still be able to bend my knee enough to walk normally. So just test that you can do that. And if you have it on in that way, you should start to feel some support around your knee whenever you wear the device. So that's the stabilized open knee support from Neo G. You can grab your own brace um, from Amazon if you go below this video and um, look at the description there. I've left a link for you to um, grab your own uh, version of it and give it a try yourself. But overall, this is one of the best ones I recommend just because it gives you that lovely balance of enough support to feel safe, but not too much so that the knee muscles don't work anymore. But as I said before, the most important thing about using knee braces is that you do some concurrent strengthening at the same time to ensure that you don't suffer long term from using them. Anyway, that's all I had to say today. I hope today it has been a useful video for you. And if you like the content of this video, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And you can also pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and it has a ton of information for people who are suffering with knee problems in their 50s and beyond. So feel free to grab a copy using the link below this video as well. That's all I had for you today. Please leave me a comment below if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.